welcome to this new video. My name is Irene and you are watching the Shiridu channel. A channel all about happy crafty projects for quilting and crochet. And today I'm working on the Shiridu sampler quilt. This quilt, like I told about in my work in progress video, um, is almost finished. And I'm working on details like this, where I'm adding eyes and uh, details to uh, the blocks that are already quilted. And this project is something that I really want to finish because this quilt is already finished for a long time but only the details need to be added to it. So it's on my pile of whips and I just want to get it done. And because so many of us have a pile of whips and have loads of projects which we just want to finish, I started the Tackle That Whip movement. And we started on the 1st of October and you still can join. So I will link my blog in the description of this video below. So click on that link or click on the eye icon in one of the corners in the screen. Um, so you can hop over to the blog and there you can link up your projects. The idea is that we are going to motivate each other to finish our whips. Each month you can select one of your pro um, projects that you want to work on and set a goal for yourself. So my goal is to completely finish this one, so finish all the details in here. But your goal could also be to um, have it quilted or to assemble all the blocks together from a quilt or to crochet all the parts of a uh, toy that you're working on. So the goal doesn't have to be finish it, but you have to set a goal for yourself. And then you can enter on uh, my blog post, which I will post on the first day of every month and uh, then there is a giveaway involved so when you post on the first uh, blog post of the month which project you want to uh, uh, work on that month and you also uh, post your project on the blog post which will go up in the end of the, that same month and you finished your work then you are in for the giveaway and this month I'm going to give away a pile of fat quarters This one, this pretty pile of rainbow fat quarters, you can win it just by entering uh, your work in progress and finishing that at the end of the month. But because there's also a lot of crocheters, uh, you can choose between uh, this pile of fat quarters or this pretty rainbow of crochet yarn. So it's up to you when you win the contest, if you want to win a bundle of fat quarters or these balls of uh, crochet yarn. I just wanted to say that I'm super excited about this and already a lot of you signed up so um, you can go check those out on my blog and you can hop over to each other's work in progress because I think that's the part of the joy that we um, uh, motivate and encourage each other to uh, finish our projects and uh, it's really inspirational to see what everyone is working on. You can either upload your photo from uh, your own blog, so when you write on your own blog about a work in progress you can link to that photo on there or you can post something on Instagram and then link to that Instagram photo or I, I think you can even um, link to something that's posted on Flickr uh, it just has to be a picture of your work in progress uh, where you can link to uh, from the tool that's on my blog. And just to make it uh, a little bit easier for you on how you can upload your photos, uh, I'm going to uh, show you a quick tutorial on uh, how to do that exactly uh, right now. If you want to enter the Tackle That Whip for October, you go to this webpage, sugardoo.com slash tackle that with October. You can also find the link in the description below this video. And there you find all the information about tackle that whip, why we are going to do it, what's the plan and what you can win, of course. And here you see all the entries for tackle that whip in October. You can enter yours by clicking this add your link button underneath the list of working progresses. This brings you to the page which hosts the linky party for me and it asks for a uh, link. 
So let's say I want to add this project as a work in progress and I would like to share this picture there. What I do then is I copy the link of the blog. So I do uh, copy, control C. Then I go back to the linky party and I paste it here, control V. And then it's going to search for images on that blog post. And here I see already the image that I wanted to use. I click select. Here I see the thumbnail. Um, that's all set. Then I can enter a title. Um, it automatically selected a title from uh, my blog. But let's say that I want to share that I want to finish the quilting on this project. Um, and that's that. And so I select that I agree and I click done. So then it's shared and I can click here, go back to the blog. And that brings me back to the work in progress blog of tackle.weapon.shibredo. Let's see. Yes, here you see my project edit. And also when you want to share something from Instagram, that's possible. So let's say I want to share this bunny project. I click on it and then I click on the three dots over here, copy the link, and then I go back to the blog post. Again, find the button, add your link. I paste my link over here. It sets already the title for me and it selected a picture. I press done and I go back to the blog. Oops. And there you see also the bunny is added. So that's that. I hope it's clear. If not, please uh, feel free to um, put a comment uh, in the comment section below and ask me anything you want to know about the Tackle That Whip movement. Don't forget to use the hashtag tackle that whip when you post something on the Instagram because then we can find each other's posts and uh, see what we are making. I am going to continue on this one and uh, I will hope to see you next week in a brand new video on the Shiverdoo channel. Bye bye!